so I finished up yesterday's video already so I'll let you know today that uh, this was last night tonight for me I know it's a little bit confusing but the service truck has come around here uh, to fix up the trailer we should be fixed up soon this was best case scenario the brake pot went bad right here in my parking spot at the truck stop and there was a repair shop on site best scenario we could have asked for so everything turned out really well we'll get this fixed up and I'm gonna head to bed see you in a bit It's morning time. You wanna go check out this new brake pot that they put on last night? Check this out. Fancy, right? That still couldn't have happened at a better time and place. It got fixed right at the shop, right here at the truck stop. It didn't break down on the side of the road. I think I had explained it to you yesterday, right? But I had just stopped here for night, pulled the brakes, and I'm like, wait, no, nah, I want to go park over there instead. So I wanted to move spots. So I released the brakes and realized that my trailer brakes wouldn't release. Came back here and I heard the air leak. I thought, huh, no way. Got a bad brake pot. So I'm grateful that it broke in a place where I had a safe place to go inside, eat, it showers here. And it didn't even take that long. It was about oh, a couple of hours I had to wait and they were able to fix me right here, right in the lot. So grateful for that. Today, we begin our journey home. We gotta go pick up our 28 feet of freight in Montreal, just down the road, and point our nose towards home. We might be able to grab some other freight on the way back just to fill up the rest of the trailer. I'm not too sure yet, it might just be this. We had some freight in Quebec City yesterday that I was going to pick up. That fell through. I went all the way there and uh, it ended up not working out. There was a good reason though. Uh, the place where we were picking up at, they had uh, there was some kind of accident there, that's what they told us. And uh, uh, they had to shut down all of operations. And I was about 10 minutes away, so I hope everyone there is okay. But I lost out on that freight. But at least I got something, right? Let's go grab this and let's start heading home. I've been away from home for a little bit too long again. Let's get out of here. Let's test these trailer brakes. They work. And they release. They do. Glad that problem was an easy fix. shop just off to the left here you'll see the doors that's where they fixed me in so strange because there's no problems on the truck and trailer all day and I parked pulled the brakes no problem I'm like ah oh, let's move so I go to release the brakes and suddenly the brake pot it's just gushing air so it was just ready, like just on the, the perfect timing. That doesn't happen very often, and especially in trucking. It's not very often you can say that you broke down at the exact perfect time at the exact perfect place.
station on the left side in 300 meters. So I've got this one big giant crate here on the front. Got them to load it right up against the front here as close as we could. And one more crate back here, just two. And back here, I've got another reload plan. They did find me some more freight. I got a skid steer that I got to pick up in Kingston, Ontario, about three and a half hours from here. I'm gonna put it on back here and we'll see if we have any more space for maybe two more skids, maybe four more skids at the back. Maybe they'll find me something more to throw on here yet. The more the better. Fill me up. So I know I've talked about this before, but now I can show you on this trailer, these straps require D-rings. And that goes right on there. I like trailers that have that, that makes it extra secure. And you can also hook it on here and not worry about it unhooking while you go around to the other side to hook it into the winch on the other side. I really like that. We'll continue getting these straps on here. It's not gonna take long. I'm actually very happy with this. This is two crates. How much easier of a load can you ask for? And I'm super excited right now that I got a skid steer to go pick up too, to go fill up some of the back. So this has turned out to be a good day. I told you today was gonna be a good day. Yesterday was not so good of a day. But you know, when you have a bad day, usually the next day is a good day. Not too often you have two bad days in a row, right? It happens, but I told you today was gonna be a good day. We we're gonna make it a good day. You know what, you speak it into existence. What do they call that? You manifest it into existence. I'm getting all weird with you now. Your words have more power than you think. And I'm not saying that because I said it was a good day, it's a good day. It's a mindset. If you convince yourself that you're gonna have a good day and that you're gonna make it a good day, it's much easier to convince yourself as the day goes along that eh, it's a good day. That made no sense. But I'm gonna leave it in there anyway just for you. That was a nugget of knowledge from Trucker Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here all day. So those two crates all together are supposed to be 11,000 pounds. Sure doesn't feel like 11,000 pounds. But that's a good thing. Feels a lot lighter. So we're gonna have to run down to Ontario. We'll have to get over to the other side of the river. I think that bridge is a toll bridge. It is what it is. We'll head on down there, load up. I should be there between 1 and 1.30. They are expecting me for 2 o'clock, so I think I might have enough time to stop for a coffee. Just to grab one to go. I've really got to <laughs> fix this steering wheel. It's been bugging me. I've had this on here for <laughs> over a year already, right? When I installed it, I installed it, I thought the tires were straight, right? So I installed it just a little, you can see, right? That's my fault. All I gotta do is just pop off that bolt. It's like a one inch bolt in here. Pop that off, get a steering wheel puller, pull the steering wheel off. Then just install it just a little bit over. It's been bugging me, but it wasn't, hasn't been bugging me enough for me to take the time to fix it yet. What'd you say? Pont A Mercier, Vendredel Dorian, what? Pont A Mercier, Vendredel Dorian. My French is awful, I know. I try, sort of. Figured this was a toll. No easy pass in Quebec. So I gotta pay with credit card. There is some kind of pass, because look at these guys on the right, they have a pass, but whatever that is, I don't have that. $14.50 is what they're telling me here. I 
still don't understand why they make those toll booths like everywhere. It's, it's the same everywhere. Why do they all make them so narrow? Like, my only theory is that that's to force people to slow down, but isn't that what the gates are for? Skid steer. It's just around the corner. In 400 meters, turn left on John Counter Boulevard. Hopefully, it won't take too long. If they're ready for me, we should just be able to throw it on there, chain it down pretty quick, and be on our way. go. Nice little baby skid steer. Along with my crates. Ready to go. I can now take my traffic cone uniform off. Back in the safety of my truck. I'm going to put that away properly because I don't think there's anything else we're going to fit on the back of this trailer. I have four feet of space left. We could technically fit two more skids back there, but uh, it doesn't look like it. it's very unlikely that we'll find this. I'm gonna start heading back. If we find something on the way, great. If not, I'm gonna start going home. Winner of the cheapest steel. In 200 meters on the left side. Petropass. Cheapest juice on my route. See if I can get in here. Man, this looks tight. Yikes. How am I supposed to get in there? Yikes, yikes, yikes. You have arrived at your destination on the left side. 190 Wentworth Street East. This will be interesting. Of course, of course, of course. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so of course they make these fuel lanes like as narrow as possible too, right? to get in there. It's funny because they these card locks are specifically for trucks. <laughs> Than the US, we'll say that. 
probably around like five bucks a gallon, I'm thinking. But. Up 200 meters, turn right on Simcoe Street South, RR2. While I was there, I did a load check, made sure everything was still tight. The straps and chains were still doing what they're supposed to do. Now I've got to make it around this corner to the right. How tight is this corner? It looks pretty tight. Okay, let's, uh, I can do it, I can do it.
finally getting off this 401. Why is this guy hitting the brakes so hard? Nobody in front of you, man. Nobody. Look at that. He's half a mile in front of you. 300 meters. Choose to ride on Highway 400 Gary. left onto Spencer Street, Spencer Lane South, then your destination will be on the right. How do I get in here? I'm in Nairn Center, Ontario. Where is this truck park? Ah, oh, here's a big driveway. Alright. Ho, ho. This is where we're going to spend the night. I've only got 35 minutes left on my clock, so... Time to pull in and stop. Let's go through the pumps here. Oh yeah, lots of parking back here. Nice. Good, good, good. It's all in the dark though, so I know you can't see it. I was expecting this parking lot to be packed full. It's practically empty. <laughs> I parked all the way at the back. Just gonna do my little walk around, check the tires before I go to bed. Make sure everything is as it should be. Can you hear my bunk heater running? It's been running good this whole trip. Hopefully that keeps going. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, everybody. If you made it this far, the best way you can help me out at this point is by subscribing down below. It's free. Hitting the thumbs up button is free as well, and both of those help with the algorithm as, long, as well as leaving a comment down below. If you want to go the next step further to help me out, you can join the channel as a member. You'll then get early access to all my videos and access to members only content. 
and also a fancy little badge beside your comments in the comment section so myself and everyone else knows you're a member and your comments actually get sent to me in a separate folder as well. So thanks everybody, I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching this far. I'm tired, I'm gonna run back there. We're gonna stop for the minimum time that we have to. I wanna get home. I'm gonna be driving all day tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a really long day. It'd be great if you'd come hang out with me. I'll try to have it posted at about 4 p.m. Central Time here in North America. It's gonna be a long day. Let's see how far we can get. I'd like to get near Dryden, Ontario. I wonder if that's asking too much. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. I'll look at it more in the morning. Pay attention when you're out there on the roads. Keep your head up and keep your stick on the ice. I'll see you tomorrow.